Welcome to Perfect Guardian and I'll tell you how do clouds form. An interesting natural phenomenon. Clouds are very helpful in predicting the weather to a certain level. They exist in all planets that have an atmosphere in the solar system. Apart from Earth, other planets that have clouds are Venus, Mars, Jupiter and Saturn. Clouds are the outcome of the condensed droplets suspended in the atmosphere above the surface of land or water. Although they can be seen in different shapes and sizes, they all are made up of the same thing, condensed water or ice. There are different types of clouds, the most common being Stratius, Cirrus and Cumulus. Now what is the cloud formation process? I'll tell you about that. The first step in the formation of clouds includes evaporation, transpirations and heating of air, collectively known as e evaporation, no sorry, evapotranspirations, evaporations and transpirations are the most vital parts of the hydrologic cycle. When a body of water such as lake or ocean is heated by sun, the water on the surface sub limits and turns into a vapor. The process is called evaporation. Transpirations occurs when planets sweat water through leaves and stems, which then turns into vapors and mixes with the air. Similarly, the soil also vaporizes when exposed to heat and air. When ground and water surfaces get warm, they heat up the air also. Since hot air is less dense than cold air, the heated air begins to rise into the atmosphere. With the rise in vapor, the atmospheric pressure drops and the vapor began to expand. This result in cooling of vapors, which condense or clump together out of the air. The heat causes the vapor to rise further. The air expands with a drop in the pressure at increasing altitudes, which causes it to cool. This cooling causes the air to condense, which results in the formation of liquid droplets. The temperature at which the air begins to condense is called the dew point. Dew point occurs when the air is saturated at a given temperature and pressure. Eventually, more air condenses to form water, till the air reaches the same temperature as the surrounding atmosphere or equilibrium temperature. The water vapor that condenses to form enough liquid water to become visible is called a cloud. Clouds can vary in different shapes and types depending upon how long the cloud rises after reaching the dew point. That is the distance the cloud covers between dew point temperature and equilibrium temperature. The air that rises for a longer time after reaching dew point will form tall fluffy cloud, such as a cumulus cloud. On the other hand, the air that reaches equilibrium with a result in a flatter, layered cloud such as the stratus cloud. The colors of the cloud also vary from cloud to cloud. A white cloud means that it is formed with warm air, which contains water vapor. Gray or black clouds are formed when droplets combine to form larger drops. Other colors like blue, green and yellow are formed naturally in the clouds. So thank you. Please subscribe to my channel Perfect Guardian and give your comments.